Runk. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. Welcome to another episode of Congratulations. You guys having a good time, dude? I'm having a good time, man. Here we go, episode 276. Uh, and I will be in, let's do the dates here. I will be in Peoria and Rockford, Illinois. I got some Illinois dates. Illinois, I'm coming. It should be Illinois because there's an S at the end of it, but I'm doing Illinois. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm succumbing to the uh, the pressure of societal norms. Uh, we're going to call it Illinois, but I will be there Friday and Saturday. Get your tickets at crystalia.com, crystalia.com. And uh, I will be in Raleigh, North Carolina. I will be in Savannah, Georgia. And I will be in other places like Denver and Tempe, Arizona and uh, Albany, New York. Look at all this shit. Look at them off the top of the head. Lakeland, Florida. Look at this. Jacksonville, Florida. He's hitting everywhere. But um, yeah, and then I got other dates coming. Uh, pretty soon, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I, you know, I shouldn't mention it yet, but it's gonna be New York, and it's gonna be Chicago, and it's gonna be San Diego, and it's gonna be Austin, but I shouldn't mention it. Uh, and it's all good, dude. And we say it's all good because it's all good. This is episode 277, not 276. I think I said two, I whatever. It's 277. Um, yeah, man. So we're having a good time. Go get your merch here. Falls coming in, right? We're gonna keep it cool. Life rips. Got a shit stain on the end of that. That's cool. But uh, the periwinkle puff. That's how we do it. Um, and if you got a little bit more swag, which I don't, we wear bucket hats on life whips and I don't, I don't like, I don't like bucket hats, but the fans have spoken. They want the bucket hats. So we made the bucket hat. So what do you want from me, dude? Hey, what do you want from me? You know, um, yeah, man, I didn't talk about this last time on my podcast, which is, um, let me drink some LaCroix respectfully, but disrespectfully. Um, yeah, man, I uh, I did the Oakland shows, and I didn't even fucking mention last time, a fan got stabbed. Oh, dude. He got fucking shanked. He was leaking. Oh, dude. Someone fucking saw him in the street and poked them all up. Oh, shit, man. Someone fucking poked them all up, dude. What the fuck? And then he fucking tagged me on the story because I checked my stories after the show so I could fucking do some repostings. And the guy's just like, hey, bro, I'm leaking, man. I'm leaking, man. Somebody fucking cut him up real nice in Oakland, dude. This is after I fucking, I go, if you watch my tour report on my second channel, my Crystal, it's called Crystal Lee Official on YouTube. Um, you just look it up. It's Oakland tour report. Fan got fucking poked up, dude. And then posted about it on his story. Hey, bud, go to the hospital. But there's fucking images of him in a bloody shirt. He's like, look, man, showing off how he got all stabbed. Oh, man, I think he had a fucking cross tattoo on his chest. People with cross tattoos always be getting stabbed. You know that, dude. You know that, man. My hair is fucking absolutely on fire right now, dude. Jesus Christ. I didn't realize that. I didn't, I didn't fucking wash my hair this morning. And I, by the way, I wash my hair a lot, okay? Everyone's always like, you're greasy and shit. I'm not greasy, dude. You come near me, you smell me, it's fucking off to the races, dude. You come near, you smell me, you go like this. Oh, shit. I do meet and greets. Some people smell fucking horrible. Some people smell real nice, dude. And when they smell real nice, I tell them. I'd appreciate it if you told me. Because your boy smells like a fucking bed of flowers, no dirt. Like, I just smell, I, I mean, I smell incredible, all right? And my hair didn't wash it today. So I thought it was going to look a little fucking bad. I looked at it in the mirror before the podcast. I was like, eh, I don't know. But with the headphones on, absolutely. F Let's put this shit to bed. My hair looks phenomenal, man. So that's what's up, man. Hair looking great. Thank you very much. And a fan was stabbed. Um, Can't believe that, man. Oakland and fucking Stockton, you know, we talked about it last time. But they are absolutely, uh, it's, it's, it's wild, dude. It's wild. Um, you know, what's weird to me is everything is being treated like cancel culture, no matter what it is like this fucking Tua thing, how he Tua Magnandonovich or whatever the fucking Tua Bogdanovich, whatever the fuck his name is, got a, a concussion. And then the doctor like cleared him for the next game. And then he fucking got another con concussion. And, uh, it sucks because when he went out, you know, two concussions, you get to get two, three concussions. That's it. That's when the CT, CTE is just like, and you're like, Meow. who is it? And they're like, oh, he's going to fuck your life up a little bit later. Okay. We'll come back. Okay. Meow. 
right? You get one concussion. Your body, one concussion, they're like, okay, cool. But two concussions, especially in a row. Did you see two at the end? Like he was fucking crip walking, dude. He fell down and he just fucking, it goes like this. Set, down, hike, boom. West side. Who banging on the transport? Dude, I mean, Tua was just fucking out, dude. Throwing up gang signs. Holy shit. Did you see the pic? Put it up right here. I mean, that shit looks different, dude. I mean, his hands were doing some unorthodox shit, dude. I mean, he got smacked, and he was in a fucking football stadium. But right then, he woke up, and he thought he was... Who banging on the trance? Wipe the dust off them fucking Adidas. Holy shit, man. I'm at, that's fucked up, but though. You see those G-Force dudes? Those When you pass out and you wake up and you just... You think those G-Forces, you know? You you think you're you're just all of a sudden someone fought you at a Vons parking lot and you're just like, oh shit, no, I'm just... Never mind, my bad, okay. I'm just trying to see how many forces I can go. And I got to G5 and then I passed out and I'm just practicing for my, for my flight school. Yeah, dude, you know you fucking got knocked the fuck out when you wake up and... Um... Your hands, your hands do crazy shit when you get knocked out. So he had two out. He got knocked out. He got two concussions. And they fired the fucking doctor that told him it was okay to play. And that's cancel culture, dude. They treat everything like cancel culture. It's insane. The doctor's the doctor. The doctor knows. The doctor sometimes makes mistakes. By the way, the doc- guess who would have got fired if he didn't clear two of the play? The doctor. It's all about money and somebody needed to take the hit, dude. And the doctor was like, okay, I'll clear it because I get it. This is football and you need to make your bags. And then when Tua got hit the second time, the doc goes like this. Oh no. When Tua woke up and just fucking, when Tua woke up and was just banging on the transformers, the doctor goes like this. I'll pack up. I'll pack up. Dude, when the doctor fucking saw those, the fucking West Side, the doctor goes, Miles done. He, he's like, I'm out. Bye bye. I get it. I'll be the one. I'll take the hit because somebody's got to take the hit because cancel culture. Hey, how about just look, look, football. Let me just say this. All right. And it seems, it seems totally elementary. All right. But football is football. When football looks in the mirror, it sees football. It's not something else. Okay? You take a picture of football and then show football that picture. Football goes like this. That's me. All right? So if you're trying to turn football into something else, i.e. something where guys aren't going to be getting concussed, then it's not football. You take a picture of that football and show the picture to football and football goes like this. Who's that? Because it's not him. So if you're going to be doing football, let football be football, dude. Okay? The sec this is the thing. People are going to get concussed, but they're grown-ups. They can do what they want. Now, is it going to be sad when they grow up and shit? And they get to be fucking 60 years old and they want to put a bullet in their own heart so that you can study their, like whatever Junior Seiya did. Hey, study CTE and blast it away at his own heart. Yeah, that's, tr that's troubling and it's sad. But we all know. We all know. So football is football. So if it's going to be football, then that's what's up, dude. If not. Get rid of football. Stop with the whole, if we do this, if we have these rules, if a guy can't play, and then this and this, we need to look out for the safety. It's football. You might as well be baking a cake if you're not going to let guys play because of because they're going to fall on the ground and... Who banging on the transform? You know what I'm saying? It's football, and then you're going to be mad when they fall on the ground and they start asking who banging on the Transformers? You just took a picture of football, developed it, sent it to football, and said, who's that? And football goes like this. It's me. 
Bake cakes if you're not going to let guys get in concussed. That's what they should do, dude. The Miami Dolphins should just come out and be like, you know what? Here's what we're doing now. They come out in aprons and shit with like fucking, you know, dough rollers and just some and other motherfuckers in it with ingredients and shit. <laughs> and there's already tables out there on the 50-yard line and they just go like this. Hike! And then start making a fucking cake and some muffins. And then other people at the fans are like, what are they doing? And they go, sorry, the culture came for us and now we're not football anymore. You're firing doctors out there? He would have been fired no matter what. If he didn't play the game the way the fucking Miami, Miami Dolphins wanted him to play, he would have got fired that way. They would have put another doctor in there. He would have play. He would have got fired. Don't you understand how this shit goes? Football. Your football. And that's the most crystal shit ever, but it's true. He speaks the truth. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, oh, he speaks the truth. But it's the truth. It's just like, uh, it's like enough is enough, dude. Oh, but this is what the doctor should have done. Oh, really? A guy that fucking, you know what I mean? Works as a realtor sometimes? Oh, really? Some fucking chick, you know what I mean? In, uh, that sometimes goes to Armstrong Gardens and raises some kids? Oh, really? It's just so fucking, it's so ridiculous, dude. Stop, stop it. You, you know what I mean? That's the thing. You make, you, if you have the game and all of a sudden you're like, whoops, we need helmets, then put the helmets on and go to work. Okay. Or, or just stop the game. Right. But this whole, well, we got to no, stop bending. You already bent enough. Your football. That's the game, dude. It's like it's a fucking war. It's, well, yeah, but okay, but take the guns away and use slingshots. No, you got to fucking push people's wigs back, dude. That's the whole fucking thing. You run out there. The, the weapons get better and better. You got flame. You got fucking all the shits. You got bombs. Use them all. That's war. Imagine people like, it's pretty soon. Cancel culture is going to start fucking bitching about, you know, well, we, we need to replace the guns with. It's war. And I'm not even fucking, you know what I mean? You got me acting all Republican and shit. I'm centrist, baby, but don't push me. That's what I'm saying. Where's the hat? I don't even have it anymore. But don't push me. Um, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. Look at the fucking, here's the, should I look at it? The two with fucking, the way he put his hands up? Who banging on the transformer? Who? Look at this. Oh, it's gonna be loud. Fuck. God damn it. Here we go. Boom. Oh, wrong song, dude. Wrong song, dude. Wrong song. Need needs it to be fucking. Who banging on a transformer? <laughs> what does it even mean, dude? Dub C was the best. Dude. Dub C when he would do the shit where he was like. Like, dude, he talking about killing motherfuckers and then just. Who banging on the Transformers with the fucking, you know, making his hands into a W? www.crystalia.com. Um, so, yeah, between Tua getting concussed and my fans being stabbed, not a good, not a good, not a good week for the Dolphins organizations and also Crystalia fans. Um, I can't wait till Tua comes back and he's just like, it's fine. I'm fine. I got concussed. I'm a grown man. I want to play football. It'd be amazing if they, the whole thing went all, I don't know if he spoke yet, but if the whole thing, because he didn't speak for a while, I know, and the whole fucking organization is like talking and everyone's talking on Twitter and shit, and they're like, well, finally, we get to hear from Tua himself, and they just show him at a podium, and Tua's just like this, there are, brother, if you are not snacking on a football. And I'm like, oh my God, well, Tua, how do you feel? And he's just like, who banging on the Transformers? Ah, dude, don't push me over. Don't push me over, dude. I don't even like football. You got me out here defending football. Let's see what this is, dude. The right stuff. This is a fucking dating app only for today. We brought it after you've been pushed all the way over to the right. It's called the right stuff, dude. It's a dating app. Put, dude, look at this shit. 
Today, we brought in a group of conservative young women and wanted to get their honest opinions about what they're looking for oh, in my. the guys they date. Hell yeah, dude. What are you looking for in a partner? It would be great if they just went they all just the way. They just have to be a conservative. Oh, dude. Uh, the first thing, dude. They fucking jumped off the building with that, dude. I mean, they didn't even eke into it. They're like, well, I want him to be funny and nice. And this is the shit that everyone says and loyal. She just goes, first of all, they have to be conservative. And the subtext was, I don't want a fucking idiot. Definitely someone that wants to have kids. Uh, I like second. an independent man. Uh. Personally, I like the alpha male vibe. Uh. I want a man who really loves his family. Definitely someone whose faith is important to them. For me, it's someone who actually wants to meet my parents. Hey. Why do you want to date a conservative? What is this shit? For me, at least I know that we're going to start off with some shared values. For me, what I do know is fuck gay people. That's what you're... I'm just making a joke. Well, the conservative men I've dated at least know how to treat me like a woman. Yeah. In my personal experience, conservative guys have better manners. Deeper. I like that they understand their role in the relationship as a man. So deeper. I just prefer my men to be masculine. Yeah. And what's the biggest red flag when it comes to dating? Amazing that this is already the third question, dude. <laughs> like, dude, that's the third. That's the third question, dude. Uh, the chick. Wait, okay. So the chick who said. So that's the qu third question. The chick who said. Uh, well, first of all, they have to be conservative. Is going to answer this question now. Let's see what she says. When it comes to dating, I have not watched this. a Democrat. Oh, ah, she knows what she wants. And she knows what she wants. She knows what she wants and just how to get it. Wow, dude. She knows what she wants. She knows what she wants. She knows what she wants. She knows what she wants and just how to get it. Dude, unbelievable, man. Democrats. A Democrat. Oh, oh, oh. Can't be a Democrat. A Democrat. That's easy. A Democrat. Oh. No Democrats. So no. Oh. <laughs> of course, she's the right match. Republican. Download the right stuff today. Oh my God, dude. That's hilarious, dude. Jesus, got the music, you know. I'd love to see the other version of that, dude. Just the fucking left stuff. Just like a fucking people you can't even tell if they're men or women and shit. Hi, I are you? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want in a fucking date? What do you want in a partner? Well, they can be really whatever. I man, I don't care. I have no preference. They just ask a chair next. What do you want? What do you want? And it's a chair. Just a chair. It's a puppet with blue hair. Let's ask Kent. It's a female puppet. Let's ask Kent. <laughs> so, <laughs> just so, well, I definitely, it doesn't matter, but I don't want to, I don't want a fucking conservative. Dude, that woman in the, that's, this is hilarious, dude. Today, we brought in a group of conservative young Just women. fucking the, imagine the liberal version of this, dude. They just ask a fucking, they cut to a, uh, an empty bottle of Pepto-Bismol. What do you want in a fucking mate? and wanted to get their honest opinions about what they're looking for in the guys they date. What are you looking for in a partner? They just have to be a conservative. Yeah, dude, all right, so here we go. The right stuff was created for conservatives to connect in authentic and meaningful ways. Other dating apps have gone woke. We bring people, what is, by the way, how does a dating app go woke? It's just, you. anyone can join, right? It's like fucking, isn't what isn't farmers only the one that was supposed to be this, but they made it farmers instead of whites, right? Like that was f founded by fucking for sure. I don't know. I mean, I know there's fucking. I mean, there's definitely Mexican farmers, but like that'd be hilarious if they tried to get in there and then the whites were like, "Ah, oh, this is all fucked. Fuck, man. Fuck, man. We forgot. There's a bunch of Mexican farmers. God damn it, man. Um. 
The right stuff was created for conservatives to connect with authentic and meaningful ways other dating apps have gone woke. We bring people together with shared values and similar passions. Dude, anytime someone says shared values, that's so something that they fucking, that's such a, the way that fucking people have made that to be a trigger for fucking racist, you know? That's hilarious. Discovering other conservatives connects with people who aren't offended by everything. (laughs) Dude, uh, that's so good, man. Oh, shit. That's hilarious. Look, Brittany, 24, 5, 8, 3 miles away. Getting back to normal. This is great. Norm- wow, they don't even pull any punches. Getting back to normal. View profiles without pronouns. Your next match is here. This is hilarious, dude. This guy's a videographer. Paul, 29, 3 miles away. Everyone's 3 miles away. Uh, less talking, more dating. Have a fun date idea? Post it and see who's interested. Luke, 30. Have an extra ticket to Saturday night's game. Who's looking to cheer on the home team? Wow. So fucking general. So general. Invite only. Connect with people. Fuck, man. Wow, man. Find the right match. If you're single and on this app, you ain't... Wait, what? If you're single and not on this app, you ain't conservative. Wow. Ain't. Gosh, that's hilarious. Oh my God, that's amazing. Get on that. I want to know what that is. Somebody send it to me. Somebody send me what their profile is on the right stuff. Hey guys, I want to take a break, but I want to do this to tell you about something a little something called ShipStation. It's great. Do you have an e commerce business that ships products out? You need this. Don't wait until you're drowning in orders to find the right shipping solution. Upgrade to ShipStation today. The best time to prepare for growth is before the opportunity arrives, and that's now, okay? Especially for online businesses, ShipStation sets you up for growth by directly integrating with every shopping cart and storefront. I use it, um, and we are ready for anything, including the holidays with ShipStation, So uh, whether you're starting small or scaling up, ShipStation makes ship happen. No more limiting your business to to one store. ShipStation integrates with every platform, including Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, et cetera. Dude, they do it all. So you got to get ShipStation. Maximize your sales. You into maximizing your sales with minimal effort, then you got to use ShipStation. You save time with uh, uh, consolidating order management and automated shipping updates for your customers. Uh, They compare carriers, rates, and delivery times, and you get the most out of every send. So join over 130,000 companies who have grown their e-commerce businesses with ShipStation. 98% of the companies that use ShipStation um, for a year become customers for life. So come on, guys. Get involved, dude. Here are some companies that use it. Chubby Shorts, Sock Club, Spigen Cases, Conscious Box, Saddleback Leather. Offerman, Woodshop, uh, Daily Look. I mean, just the list goes on. Uh, Ship more and grow more with ShipStation. Go to ShipStation.com today and sign up with promo code CONGRATS for a free 60-day trial. And that's what I use. ShipStation. Start today and get set up before the biggest shipping season of the year. That's two months free. Visit ShipStation.com. Click the microphone at the top and type in code CONGRATS. Uh, today's National Boyfriend Day, which is cool. All the dudes get to find out what, you know. It, it's so funny, dude, because all the chicks with the fucking thong-ass bikinis trying to, f- like, act like they're not hookers and shit, they're going to be all like, you know, today's the day, National Boyfriend Day, and this is the day they're going to get the most unfollows. Fucking incels at the cu- uh, at the keyboard going like this. This is the number one day the incels at the keyboard go like this. Oh, fuck, dude. All right, unfollow. Shit, man. I really had a chance. Um, so yeah, it's National Boyfriend Day, so that's great, man. Thank God. Live it up for the, all the boyfriends out there, man. Um, I just think that it's great living of all, all the boyfriends in love. Um, the fucking fact that Lizzo came out and did the flute, dude. Huh? Lizzo killed that shit, right? She would never be on the right stuff. Here we go. Wow, Lizzo. Wow. Hmm. 
It's an interesting outfit for her. What'd she say? Doesn't matter what she said. It's a crystal. It's a crystal flute. She's... I don't mean physically. She's big. Like, everyone loves her. Killed it. Absolutely fucking slaughtering it. Wow. That's a bad outfit for her. I'm on the right stuff, though. That's a really bad outfit for her. Uh, the first and only person to ever play the presidential 200-year-old flute, crystal flute. That's 200. Oh, wow, dude. Fuck, dude. Thomas Jefferson rolling over in his grave and then wishing he could fuck her. Dude, for real, man. Wow, Thomas Trump, just fucking, I'm telling you right now, the legit John Adams just went like, the, the fucking corpse of John Adams, even though it's just skeletons, they did that shit and John Adams goes like this. Oh, dude. Just fucking, just got me a piece of that, just got me. <laughs> dude, that always makes me laugh. <laughs> Uh, dude, that fucking video of the guy who got... Dude, let's watch it again, honestly. I know we've seen it on this podcast, but uh, fuck this, man. It's too funny, man. Oh, piece of that just got me. Dude, that's so uh, funny, man. Okay, hold on. Uh, QVC, what is it? Uh, QVC um, uh, Samurai Sword Accident. Here we go. Here we go. I mean, I love this shit. Wow. 1101-1816 is the item number on this one. And the nice thing about these practice katanas... Oh! Oh, that hurt. Oh, that hurt big time. <laughs> A piece of that just... The tip just got me, Odell. <laughs> oh, that got me good. You all right? A piece of that tip just got me. You've been so nervous. Oh, Folks, right now, we... Uh, this guy. May need emergency surgery so drunk. in the studio. Dead, that guy's for sure dead by now. Wow, dude. <laughs> dude, I've watched that clip four times on this podcast. Oh, it just got me. A piece of that just got me. And the guy comes in. Oh, we might need uh, emergency surgery. The guy's dead for sure. Died fucking six years later in a horrific car accident. <laughs> Like fucking, <laughs> like fucking was on a bridge, swerved because a fucking cat ran across. <laughs> and then you're into the side of the gate and the car was on teetering and he was like, oh, I'll probably get out of this one. And then fucking was there for a legit 58 seconds and then fell to his death and perished. Holy shit. I love, I love thinking and making shit up. Fuck it, man. Wow, dude. Oh fuck, man. We uh, we have a good time though, man. We have a good time. God damn, I love this podcast. Uh but yeah, that's a bad outfit for Lizzo. Um I watched the uh dude, did you hear about the fucking fishing dude? Uh uh that was winning a hundred of thousands of dollars in pri prizes from fishing competitions because he was sticking way weights in the fish. Like, and just and he'd been doing it for ten years. And he's just been like taking weights and stick them in, in, in the fish's mouths and then they'd weigh the fishes. And then like now because of this guy, they have the fucking guys who do the fishing competitions take lie detector tests afterwards. Hey, how about just don't do fishing competitions? My fish is bigger. Okay. It's all luck. The guy's just fucking, dude, he would just put him in the, fin put like one pound weights in a fucking trout and one hundreds of that. My whole thing is, bro, that's not even, that's gaming the system. Yeah, it's cheating, but boy, did he game the system. That's crazy, dude. Now just, if they caught you, next guy, put him in the fish's anus. Um, yeah, that's so fucking crazy. It's crazy to do something so like, he, is that, a, I wonder if that's illegal. It's got to be illegal. Like, to fuck, he's stealing money, right? I mean, it's lying and stealing money. Wow. Wowie, wow, wow. Um, yeah, man. 
a fucking it's a it is a crazy world out there. I want to. By the way, I should have fucking started this by thinking about everybody in Florida. People like to say that you know they go on TV and thinking about everyone to go on a TV or a podcast, thinking about everyone in Florida. That's ha- ha- fucking tough. I know actually some of the people on my Patreon they reached out. We were talking on the Discord. They're in Florida and they're doing okay. But man, it's crazy. I saw some of these fucking things and it's just like. I mean, some of these, the, the, the streets are just, I mean, like up to half the garage and people are just, it sucks, man. Apparently a lot of people died. I haven't really been keeping up on it. Um, maybe I should, but you know, my buddies in Florida now, I got a bunch of buddies in Florida and, you know, they're all doing okay, but it's just tough, man. Ugh. I feel like too, some people aren't leaving the way the times are. I think people are using like, nah, we don't like people in Florida. They don't leave. They don't leave, bro. They don't leave. You could be like, hey, we just found out that aliens are coming down and all they're doing is disintegrating houses in Jacksonville. So you should probably move. And they go. People from the north of Florida? Are you fucking kidding me? They would just be like, I spent too much time here to leave for a little bit of a fucking alien. I spent way too much. I grew up here. This is my home. They all think that they're fucking Michael Caine in a movie, you know? They all think that they're like some like deep Matthew McConaughey character, and it's just like, but just move for a little bit. But hey, dude, you want to die the way you want to die? You could, you could do it. I feel bad, though, man. I feel bad about this. Mother Nature, that's a motherfucker, isn't it? Um, Oh, God. If Kristen watches another fucking serial killer documentary, I'm going to just empty my bowels all over the couch. It's just everything we, you know, it's like either Dahmer or fucking the other day, the, the, what was it? The Anthrax one was on Netflix. Netflix will just make a fucking document. It doesn't matter how the Anthrax one was big, but they'll be like, they'll make one about any. It, they made one about the Lori Vallows or whatever the fuck. Everyone already knows all that shit, you know? Dahmer, I get it, because there's like there's, there's like there's there's like the biggest ones they'll always be made, and then like maybe one that you've never heard of. But Netflix will even make the ones in the middle that we already know all the shit about, but then they'll just like they'll make it like it's some big Dahmer shit, and it's not even a Dahmer shit, you know? It's just kind of sad, man. I was hearing what Lil Boozy was saying about how, like, dude, it's so fucked up for the families and shit about the, 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 um, it's so fucked up for the families of the, of the people who were slain. They say that to make it sound more, more noble, which is, you know, I guess good because they were slain. But, uh, and it's so fucked up for these. Like, imagine you, you, you're, like husband or wife was killed by some serial killer and then and then they make a documentary and a fucking you know a crazy uh uh series about it that's like you know all for the dollar and you just got to sit there and watch as people are like oh i'll buy the guy's prison glasses for one hundred and fifty thousand dollars because serial killers are sexy you got fucking thoughts on tiktok just like "Eh, these are the these are the serial killers i would fuck in order and it's like yeah, but they fucking kill... People are so sad. It's kind of fucked up. There's nothing to do about it. But I mean, like, I feel like Lil Boozy's right. They should be paid. These families should be paid to bring up all their trauma and shit. But I don't know, man. And like, at least with the forensic files, like, they pay the people to come on the show. It's like they'll make $350 for talking about it. And that was when I realized, you know, the Ice Cubes had Castrol GT in it. And that was when she realized the ice cubes had Castrol GT formula in it. Um, But yeah, we watched that anthrax one, which was, I didn't know. Am I racist? I thought it was the fucking people from uh, Afghanistan or Saudi Arabia, whatever the fuck it was. I'm, I'm, I'm a, dude, I had no idea that it was just some kooky white guy. That was just literally anthrax and everyone tried to get involved. The one on Netflix is good. It's got that dude from the um, that one Marvel show that everyone, I guess, watches. I don't know what it is, but he's a good actor. Um, the guy who obviously was uh, it was between him and the guy who actually got Better Call Saul. But then that guy got it. Um Anyway, he plays the guy, and it was just some guy who was, like, leading investigators down a wrong path, and then it was really him mailing out all the anthrax to everyone because he was just—he he felt like he had a dark passenger inside of him, 
And he was like, I don't even know what I'm doing, but I'm mailing all this anthrax everywhere. And then he and then he um, killed himself before they even fucking brought charges on him. So, uh, you know, they, they never really proved it was him or what because they never took him to court. But it sure looked like it was him. You know, who knows? And then, um, yeah, he just fucking killed himself. So we'll never know. That is crazy, man. And then how fucking terrible the Postal Service was where they like, let's just stay open because all the employees were just like, they don't give a fuck about them. And then and then they just, the second somebody mailed something to Dan Rather, they were like, okay, everybody out of the building, everyone out of the city. It was mailed to Dan Rather. He's beloved. Everyone out of the city. And then the UP, the, the Postal Service workers, they were like, look, we're going to remain open. Just be cool. Everything's fine. Dudes with hazmat suits coming in. And everything's fine. Just make sure you lick the envelopes if they aren't licked. If they're not closed, lick the envelopes yourselves. And then people died. In D.C., dude. I don't know. Am I racist because I thought it was a fucking... I don't know. I don't know, man. Uh, I was on stage the other night in Oxnard. It was awesome. And all of a sudden, dude, the lights were so bright. I just go like this. Oh, huh. I'm going to pass out. They were so bright. And I'm s talking, doing my act. You know, people laughing, people listening. And immediately just will go like this. Oh, going to pass out. And was struggling so hard for 10 minutes. Like, don't pass out. You ever get that? Where you're like, don't pass out. And you're like, well, you won't. But we are thinking about it now. So, oh, fuck. Maybe I'm going to pass out. No, no, no. Wait, hold on a second. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. No, 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 you got this. Just think about breathing. And then you're like, hold on. Been thinking about breathing too much. Whoop, gonna pass out. Bro, I was fucking... Whew. I didn't pass out, but I don't know what the... I never felt like that before. I got off stage, I was so tired. And then I drove home and I drove home and of course was wake, was so awake and then fucking couldn't fall asleep. Yes! I feel like that right now because I'm thinking about it. Oh my God. Masa Amini, the Iran woman, killed because she was wearing. Um, everyone's talking about this Tua concussion and this Iranian woman. The media, you know, the media. I guess it is not covering her enough, but she uh, was killed um, because she wasn't covering everything but her eyes. We got to get the Middle East to just kind of let's catch up. Huh? You know, I get it. Tradition and tradition always fucking leads to so much turmoil. I've always said that on this podcast, right? I mean, how mad? Just take how mad is a dad when Thanksgiving isn't right? Do you know what I'm talking about? So, do you, could you imagine hundreds and thousands of years of women's just dressing the fuck up and not showing anything but their eyes, and then all of a sudden, one woman just it slips a little bit and then gets beaten to death? Like, hey. That's the strength of 10 million dads with Thanksgiving not going right. And that's horrible. L like, let's just catch up. Anybody who thinks, uh, 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 I, you sound so woke, but like, let, 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 you know, I joke around about thoughts on fucking TikTok and fucking Instagram, and it's, but they can do what they want. All right. It's terrible that these fucking, this woman's getting, I mean, also the amount of comments that I get on my Instagram, be our voice of Iran. It's like me speak out, please use your platform. I'm like me, but, uh, yeah, it's obviously very terrible. And, uh, I can't imagine being mad at somebody else, period, you know, live and let, live and let, let him not die. Um, I don't even know anymore. Drew Barrymore is, uh, is she, uh, you know, it's, it's interesting to watch these famous people, uh, go from, well, let's just watch this. Not eat the bread. Here we go. Here we go. If you're having a day where you're trying to like not eat the bread. Wow. I want the pizza so bad. I'm sure people are going to be like. How dare you do this to a pizza? I got it. I, I feel Oh no, she really took the bread off. I got it myself. But I just take the top of the pizza 
and a little salad, which has basically all the same toppings as the pizza. Yeah, but so do the toppings. The toppings of the pizza have the toppings of the pizza. And then I make a pizza salad. Uh. Pizza salad. Mm -hmm. I mean, the and person just, just laughing so mad. Up. And then it's actually really crunchy and delicious. Screw them. Crunchy? <laughs> That looks, and then yeah, true. You get the satisfaction of eating a pizza, but no, you... it may be for gluten intolerant. <laughs> and now she's eating. Ah, nothing's like bread, huh? Isn't that fucked up though? How bread is like that's because it's not the second you're. Oh man, your body eats bread, and your body goes, what "The fuck is that?" But it's so good, dude. I love these famous people that just like social media has really exposed them to just be like the lunatics they are. And I'm not saying Drew Barrymore is a lunatic, but like sometimes you, I mean, she, you saw the Drew Barrymore show or whatever the fuck that was, that interview show where she did. I mean, that was just, you know, at what point is enough is enough? You know, you look at the rock and shit, you see the rock fucking, um, he posted a, uh, an Instagram reel the other day and he was like, never got to hang out with my dad. So I'm, I wish I had the relationship. So I'm hanging out with my, the guy who plays my dad in fucking in the rock show on NBC, dude. And it was like, and then he played it over. The music was I, I get one more time to dance with my father again. And they're just sauntering on grass. And it's like, all good, feel bad, but you doing? Like, I can't, didn't get to hang out with my dad so much, so it's great I get to hang out with my TV dad. He's younger than you. Dance with my father again. Luther Vandross. That song will make you fucking cry. Dude, I fucking, whenever I would see shit about my dad, not my dad, but dads in movies, I cry. And I was like, one day I'll get over that because of the, I love my, my dad, you know, I love my mom too, but like something about like father, son shit. And now I was getting over it. Then Calvin came, dude, and dance with my father again. And now I'm fucking on the other end of it, dude, fucking, I, I'm like, is Kevin Costner in my eyeball asking Dennis Hopper, where's the girl? Because this shit's water world. Dance with my father again. Um, yeah, forget it, dude. I mean, anyway. I'm going to try that pizza. I want pizza so bad, dude. It's unfair how good pizza is and ice cream is. It's un if I I would eat pizza and ice cream every day and no bullshit and just maybe I should just do that until I die for real. Like why like you know, do you are you like me? Do you are you like should I be help because man, I, cause I wake up sometimes my tummy hurts from the night before, and I'm like, ah, I shouldn't have ate those fucking burgers and shit and ice cream, and maybe I should eat like more salads. And you know, I've been really a fucking train wreck eating because you know it's like one addiction at a time, and like sugar be really tasting really good, but like uh, the fucking man, maybe I should just now that I got Calvin, it's like irresponsible, but like maybe I should just eat fucking pizza and ice cream and shit. It's so good. It's so fucking good. I'm just going to eat pizza and ice cream every fucking day. Put the pizza on the ice cream. Just Drew Barrymore it up and it's crunchy. Oh God, I'm so fucking hungry. Here's another one. The economics behind quiet quitting and what we should call it instead. 20-something engineer named Zayed Khan. It's like a Batman villain with the sound of a piano playing in a regime style. So this is on TikTok. I recently learned about this term called quiet quitting where you're not outright quitting your job, but you're quitting the idea of going above and beyond. You're still performing your duties, but no longer subscribing the hustle culture mentality that the work has done in your life. Re the reality is it's not, and your worth as a person is not defined by your labor. Oh, dude, try telling that to a fucking man. That's how a lot of men get their self-worth. But okay, quiet quitting, in other words, is not really about quitting. It's more like a philosophy for doing the bare minimum at your job. That's how this country runs, baby, dude. 
You don't want your Amazon delivery guy showing up like, hi, get the fuck out of here, you creep. You don't want some guy at a, you, you really want a bank teller? Hello, how's, dude, you know how pissed off I get at fucking when I'm in Wells Fargo and they're like, and I, I, did you do anything fun for the weekend? And I'm like, take this paper. Just tell me to sign the bank. Sire the fuck Nara. It's so annoying. Dude, when I go to Wells Fargo, they ask me 70 different questions. I think they actually got hip to it because I started complaining about it a lot on stage. I didn't put it in my last um, two specials ago. I was gonna, but I was doing it all over the country about how annoying it was. Wells Fargo was fucking when they were asking me, how's your que- How's your day? How's your, d- you do anything fun for the weekend? Yeah? You got a girl in your life? Just like, what the fuck? Give me the fucking, let me put this, let me push this paper under this glass and give me a small bottle of water that's the size of a keychain and I'm out. Like, dude, that's how this country runs. I don't want my fucking guys going above and beyond. I don't want that shit. I need a bunch of people that don't want to be at work throwing, like, my fucking packages at my door, trying to ricochet them off of lampposts and shit. I, th- th- the last thing I want is a friendly motherfucker when I'm trying to check something out. The last thing I want. Here you go. Thank you. Here you go. That's five ninety five. dollars Thanks. Bye. Hey there, how are you? Nope, dude. I'm fine. How much I... See, this is a, they think I'm the dick, but it's like I'm rushing about this shit, dude. Don't smile at me because I just think you want something from me. In Japan, there's a concept called shokunin, which refers to an artisan who is deeply dedicated to their craft, always striving for perfection in what they make. That's... Japan. If I want that, I'll move to Tokyo, dude. <laughs> Give me some half ass American shit, dude. I want my cars breaking the fuck down and people pissed off that they're sitting behind glass. Quiet quitting is the opposite of shokunin. Oi, shokunin. Setting boundaries and simply completing the tasks you're opposed to complete within the time that you're paid to do them. Fuck yeah, America. No extra frills. Fuck yeah, dude. When I go to my show, I do an hour or less of material and give it my all, baby. And after that, I'll do the meet and greet. I'm all smiles, dude. Because you know what? I do love you. And life fucking rips. I do. I love you. And I've been taking that CBD, dude. That pure spectrum CBD. I've been taking that CBD. And it's keeping me all regulated and nice. My legs don't even move at night anymore when I go to sleep. I don't have restless leg syndrome. You want the fucking CBD? Click the link in the show description. You get 10% off. If you use code congrat, con- congrats. But I'm even the fucked out. The second I'm done with that me and greet, because I do secretly love you, you guys, when I say, oh, thank you very much. I appreciate all the artwork you get. Even that weird fucking artwork that the guy made of me in a Freddy Krueger thing that's on the tour report. I thank you for that, dude. Give me a bunch of stickers that say life rips with the Freddy Krueger design on it. Super weird. I love you for that, though, bro. Couldn't exactly bring the Freddy glove on the plane because they're knives. But I still love you, bro. But the second I'm done, dude, the second I go into my car, I'm tired of shit, dude. That's that. No frills. You know, that's me not checking my emails. You know, that's me not checking my emails on the weekends. That's me. Fuck, I'm tired right now, dude. Yeah, man, we're back, dude. I had to take a break, dude. I mean, I I was starting to talk about the lights and shit and the... And then I started feeling dizzy. So that's cool, man. Am I just old? Um, and in the meantime, I ordered ordered food because I'm disrespectful like that. But respectful because that's me, dude. Um, let's do some Tinder and deserve it scales. I love you guys. And Peoria and Rockford, I'll see you soon. Savannah, Georgia, and Raleigh, I'll see you soon. ChrisLea.com for tickets. But let's do these here. Deserve it scales. God, these are fucking... There we go, boy. 
uh, to steal a cell phone in London. All right. Let's see what this is all about. Oh, fuck, dude. Oh, shit. My back. Oh, the kid is... Is that a kid? A kid is got... Wait, hold on. What the fuck is happening right now? An adult just so... By the way, the adult so insecurely fucking tackled him. Look, he's like, should I do it? Should I do it? No, no, no. no. I just boot him into this fucking thing. So the guy's got him down. The camera goes aw away. And then the kid comes by and just starts choking. Why did the guy leave? Are they a team? Is this Batman and Robin? What the fuck? This is so weird, dude. Why did they tap? Why did the guy like like tag team it? Look at the people just wandering by, like, oh, nothing to see your hands. Just let's go. Let's get the fuck out of here. The mo most British guy with the fucking British dog came by. And then the woman comes out. What help do you need? What are you talking about? There's a dude that's... The guy stole a phone. Why? What happened to the first guy that booted him into the wall? He's just gone. He's like, did my part. Got to get the fuck out of here. Got to go to a grocery store. I mean, Sideshow Bob, the guy. All these people are the most British people of all time. Because there's like... Dude, the way the guy booted him. Look, 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 the way he got him. Should I? I don't know. Ah, fuck it. Boom, into the thing. Smashed him. It is crazy he gets up and lets the kid handle it. The kid just fucking falls on him. My back. My back, my back, my back. Was that Trina? My neck, my back. Okay, here we go. Um, that was, I mean, you deserve it if you steal a phone. That is, uh, how did that do boot? He won't learn his lesson that way. Here we go. Okay. Um, here's another one. Hold on. Somebody cut him in line? Let's watch this shit. Bro, you just passed me. What are you talking about? Say the n-word you fucking black dude and then he fucking the guy just picks him up and th holy shit dude that's fucking hilarious the voice dude bro, I'm trying, no. Bro, are you serious bro, I'm not even gonna say the n-word you fucking black guy dude he just throws him into the milkshake maker and then he starts throwing fries at him I think I got handled, dude. I mean, I never seen somebody get more handled than that. I'm never gonna say the N word, you, you fucking black guy. And the guy goes, okay, threw him off like it was one of the burgers. Jesus Christ, dude. That's hilarious. Wow, that kid so fucking was that uh, big bully in Home Alone or whatever. Or no, uh, what's the fucking movie? Uh, 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 the Christmas Story. Bro, you just passed me. What are you talking about? Are you talking about? I was right there. So fucking New York. The way he pushed him. Dude, the fucking... What? I'm not even gonna say the N-word. What? 
<laughs> dude, you know what that reminded me of? This shit, dude. When he goes, what? That reminded me of this. Fucking, um. Oh, we don't have it. In oh, you do. Have it. Right here. That ain't no problem. Huh? That, that one. No huh? What? Dude, fucking. Wow, that was unbelievable. He threw him like a sack of potatoes. <laughs> that must have hurt so bad, dude. Wow, dude. What are you talking about? You got a problem? I'm going to say the N word, you fucking black guy. So Long Island, dude. Oh, wow. Trying to fight a wall. What the fuck is this person doing? Here we go. Trying to fight a wall, it says. What could go wrong? We love it. Oh, fuck. That's a cartoon. That girl became a cartoon. Aww, she just... Do a little flip. flip. <laughs> oh, one thing's for sure. This girl has the best parents. <laughs> this girl's the best parents, dude. She thinks nothing could go wrong, you know? She's like, let me just get in this small fucking six by six room and launch off one of the walls. And the hopefully the elevator's open. Boom. Boom, right there and falls like the family guy with her arm behind her back. I mean, unbelievable. This girl has the best parents ever. Wow. That fucking, she killed it. Deserve it scale a fucking 10. That one's funny because she's probably okay. I hope. That one's a 10, dude. Oh, the when they got when they when they threw the guy, when when he when when she threw the guy, or when the dude threw the guy, that's a 10. That was one of the best deserve it scales of all time. What? I'm not even call, call, call you the N word. What? Let me throw you into the fucking malt machine. Uh, anyway, dude, you guys, I had a good time with you. Um, thanks for uh, listening. Like and subscribe. Peoria, I will be there uh, tomorrow or the next day or something. And then Rockford, Illinois, I'll be there the next day. And then Savannah and Raleigh and Tempe and shit. We got them all coming up. Dallas or not Dallas, Denver. Sorry. And uh, Boston, we're having a good time. Like and subscribe. We love you, my babies. Keep it real. That's it for the YouTube episode. But if you want to catch the raw, the uncut, the extra length episode, you're going over to our Patreon, patreon.com slash Crystalia. And we also do other things. Like we have a thing called Review Mode where we review different things. We have a podcast. I put a, an episode of a podcast up with Kristen. Uh, two of them, I believe. One of them. At least one of them. Uh, and then we also have an extra episode a month that you can get all for $6 a month. Uh, like and subscribe. Uh, but also subscribe to our Patreon, patreon.com slash Crystalia. Thank you very much.